Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at using modern image formats in Avada. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Okay, let's begin. In recent years, modern image formats such as WebP and AVIF have gained popularity, and for good reason. WebP and AVIF offer superior compression quality over JPEG, leading to smaller file sizes and faster web page loading times. AVIF generally provides even better compression than WebP and supports high dynamic range and wide color gamuts, though it has slower encoding decoding speeds. WebP is a good middle ground, offering good compression with faster processing times and broader browser support than AVIF. Both formats also support transparency, which JPEG does not. So what is the easiest way to start using these formats in your Avada website? You could of course use graphic programs, website converters or plugins, but with Avada there's no need. If we go to the global options and performance and then scroll down to the images section, we come to the upload image format option. Here you can choose which format you want your uploads to be in. It's on default, which doesn't change anything, but if I choose one of these other two, then when I upload a JPEG it would be converted automatically to whichever format I choose. As it says in the description, if you choose AVIF but your server is not able to convert to this format, it will automatically fall back to WebP. It also notes that you can convert all your existing images from the system status page. We'll do that in a minute, but first here I'll set this to WebP. This triggers another option called Keep Original Upload Images. As it says in the description, if this is enabled, the images in their original upload format will also be kept. Of course, this will increase the file system storage use of your images. For this example, I will set this to Enable. This then triggers a third option called Display Image Format. But let's come back to that a bit later after we have converted all our other images. So now let's save this. And then go and upload an image. I'll just go to the Media Library. And click on Add Media File. I'll upload this one. It takes a few seconds longer than a normal upload as it has to do the conversion, but here it is and now we can see it's a WebP format and that it's now only 122 kilobytes, as opposed to the original JPEG which was 337 kilobytes. That's almost a third of the size. Just for comparison, I also uploaded the same image as an AVIF file and it was slightly larger at 168 kilobytes. Also here at the bottom of the image metadata, is a link to the original file we uploaded, as we set the options to keep that one as well. Ok, so that's going to give this site a huge reduction in page file size as images are added. So now let's convert the existing images. If we head to Avada, System Status, under the Avada Setup and Update tools, we can see an option called Convert Image Formats. Here you can convert all the compatible images in your media library to the format set in that first global option. As it says in the description, these are JPEGs and PNG files. Just note that this conversion cannot be reversed. So at the bottom here, it tells me how many images there are that can be converted. If I click on Convert Images and OK it, the conversion starts. This takes a while depending on the number and size of your images, but it's pretty quick. OK, the conversion is now done, so let's go back to the Media Library and check it out. If I just open an image, we can see it's now a WebP file, and the original file is now linked at the bottom of the metadata. So now let's go back to that third global option, Display Image Format. The options here are Modern and Original. As the description explains, if set to Original, Avada will try to load the images in their original upload format. If set to Modern, it will try to load the images in the upload image format you set above. So what this option offers basically is a way to revert to using the original set of images after they have been converted. It's on Modern, so by default Avada is going to use the modern images. But if I now set it to Original, and save this, if I now come to the front end, and let's just open this image in a new tab, we can see it's the original image that's loading. For advanced users, there is also a filter for this, which lets you also use the original image format only in a selected single case. Ok, so that's how you can use modern format images in Avada. Your site has just lost some weight. Too easy. That's it for this video. 
Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all our latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.